So we're going to start off with the plan. Before starting any presentation, always have a plan, whether it is written or typed. Have an idea of what you're going to present. Planning a presentation is simple if you have notes from your work or your class. Arrange your notes as you would your paper. Strongest points first. Chronological order is important as well to create a sense of flow. When planning, you want to think about it in terms of taking an example would be like a paper that you've written or something and you're going to put it into a visual format. So you want to make sure you get your key points, your strong points, and make sure that they're in order so that your audience has a following of what you're trying to present. So then we want to consider drawing a plan. PowerPoint is about a visual presentation. On paper or in Microsoft Word, you can draw out or write out your presentation. This is one of the critical steps to success and it will help you have a vision of what your presentation should be. The next point to consider when creating your presentation is how many bullet points to use. PowerPoint presentation is about visual. Basically, you don't want to overcrowd your slides with too many topics. This overwhelms the audience. Think about three to five points per slide. If you're using an image or a graphic, make sure to account for space and placement with the bullet points as well. So that's an important thing to consider, like this slide that you see here, four points, that's pretty reasonable. The text is the right size, you can see it. That's important when you're doing a visual. So here's an example of a bullet point. Bullets are here, the sentences are easy sentences written in a large font for audience. Even if you did keywords, because it's more or less a visual for your audience to see. Here's another example. Um, the bullets are written here, you have short ideas, concise and clearly written, and the image is sized to the right. So you have your bullets on one side and your image on the other. Usually you would want to do it in the way that you read, so from left to right, because that is what is visually appealing. 